HBSP300 provides user interface to help users to manage devices in their house. This is the user interface of the HBSP300. This, this is a web interface so that you can manage the devices in your house from, fire, from, from any place in the internet. In the devices, each device has a picture, has a name, and has a location. You can change the name or location by right click and the choice the rename or change the location. For example, we choose rename here and then we change the name of the device. Or we can change the location. So we put it in the living room. In order to add a new device, you need to click either the Learn or New Remote. The New Remote button will help users to add a new remote controller. In this tutorial, we will demonstrate how to add a dimmer device. So we click the Learn here. And the HSC 300 will provide three ways to learn a new device. The first is using the barcode scanner to scan the barcode in the device. The barcode is available in all devices shipped by the home scenario. But for the devices shipped by other vendors, they may not have a barcode scanner. In this case, you can use in the by image. In this tutorial, we will use in the by image to select the device. Since we want to add a steamer, we chose the AD126 and the click the this device button. So since the AD126 is a Z-Web steamer, so the Z-Web controller screen will be shown. So it will tell user to click the button on the device here. So we just go to a device and then click the button. So after the button is clicked, the, the screen will go back to the node viewer and then you will see the new devices here. We can change the name to be demo dimmer and then change the location to be better. So that they will become a dimmer in the bedroom. You can change the, the you can you can use in the button here to dim the device immediately. For example, we set it to the fifty percent. Okay, so it becomes fifty percent. So that's it.